Hello. Today's tutorial will demonstrate how we can capture a snapshot from the camera. Remember that I said the sections of the programs will all remain the same and hence instead of starting a new program we will edit the old one. In order to do that right click and say edit with idle and we are presented with the familiar editor. Now let us save this as a different file called camimage.py since we are getting our image from the camera. Now we need to make some changes to this in order to use the camera. The first change is to initialize the camera. We can do that by defining an object called cap using the cv2 command cv2.videocapture. 1 or 0 can be added as a parameter here to refer to which camera we are using. Since I am using the external camera attached to my computer, I am going to type 1. In order to read the image, we need to now query this cap object that we have created by using the following line. Ret, frame is equal to cap.read. Now ret is a value that tells us whether this capture which was read is valid or not. If it is 0, that means that the image wasn't captured and if it is 1, that means that the image was captured. Frame is the name of the image, uh, is the name of the matrix into which we are storing the snapshot that we have captured. Since we are storing the snapshot in a matrix called frame, we need to change the matrix we are displaying to frame. And finally, when we are closing an exit, we need to release the camera, which is done by saying cap.release. Let me recap the changes that we have made. Firstly, we have initialized the camera. Secondly, we have used a new command called cap.read instead of cv2.imread to read the frame from the camera. Now, when showing, we have changed the matrix we are showing from img to frame because that is the name of the matrix we have captured. And finally, before exiting, we are releasing the camera. Let us save this file and run it and see what happens. File, save and run module. As we can see, a snapshot has been captured and when I press a key, then the program exits. This is all for today's lecture. Please try experimenting with this parameter of video capture and maybe changing the names that are given to make sure that you understand which part is code and which part are the variables. That's all for today's lecture. See you next time.